Good evening. My name is Josh Hawkins, and today I will be delivering a presentation that highlights the key areas of my marketing plan for my new business that I intend to open in 2013 in Las Vegas. Following today's presentation, you'll receive both a copy of my marketing plan that dives more in-depth to the information presented today, as well as a copy of this presentation. Let's go ahead and begin. As I previously stated, my name is Josh Hawkins. I am a 28-year-old entrepreneur living in Las Vegas for the past five years. Recently, I decided to open my own business, a bookkeeping business for small to medium-sized businesses in the southwest region of the valley. Currently, I am a College of Southern Nevada sophomore with an anticipated graduation date of May 2013. JT's Bookkeeping is a small business that is geared towards helping other small businesses in the area. Our goal is to step in and help business owners reduce the time they spend doing accounting work for their own business. By contracting out the needs for their accounting work, such as accounts receivable, accounts payable, daily money management, and custom reporting, these small business owners will be able to reinvest their time that they spend now doing this work, which we anticipate is at approximately 10 hours a week, in their business or in their home life or other personal areas that they so choose. I have selected a mission statement to operate the business on. The mission statement for my company is, it shall be the mission of JT Bookkeeping staff members to provide quality, detailed, and accurate accounting related information to our valued clients. The JT Bookkeeping team, through comprehensive record keeping, is committed to improving their clients' own business and building a long-standing working relationship. To do this, we have set the following goals. In our detailed marketing plan, you will see the goals of the organization, which is to increase year-over-year -year growth in not only revenue, but also in terms of the client base. In our first year, we anticipate to have somewhere in the vicinity of 10 billable clients, as well as 5 to 10 non-billable clients who we will use as trial subjects in hopes of better improving our business practices and developing a long-standing relationship. Our goal is we want to ensure that we have returning clients and build a long-lasting connection with them. In order to gain new businesses and help eliminate the time business owners spend on paperwork, JT Bookkeeping, within one year of opening, is going to expand from a home-based office to a brick-and-mortar location. By doing this, it will allow us the opportunity to expand the business offerings, which include adding payroll processing to our list of current offerings. Through the development of our marketing plan, we have identified what we believe to be our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for our growing company. I will now highlight one of each from each of the key areas. One of the strengths that we will have in the business is that we will have an online savvy presence for clients to access and view their financial information in real time. We want the clients that come to us to be able to access their information at 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. One of the weaknesses that we will struggle with and will anticipate as we move forward in this business venture is that opening a business is in a still struggling economy. We understand that it's going to take us uh, proving ourselves to our clients for them to give business to another small business. However, we see an opportunity in large numbers of small businesses in the demographic data area, which is detailed in the marketing plan. And one of our threats is that the loss of clients because of missed deadlines are related to staffing situations. Currently, the staffing situation for JT Bookkeeping will be myself, 
and I still intend to work full time in the first six months of the business life, as well as one part time employee working 30 to 35 hours a week. We want to make sure that we don't miss an opportunity in delaying the clients getting their information. The marketing strategy. We are going to go out on a true grassroots marketing effort. Being from Oklahoma originally, I know what it's like to hit the ground and hit it hard. Potential customers located in the geographical area of such zip codes as 89108, 89113, 89117, etc., which identified by www dot city dash data dot com as the southwest region of Las Vegas is approximately 125 square feet with a population of 342,000 and boasts a business population of 7,718 businesses. Advertising, we will stick with traditional advertising and online yellow pages as well as the paper book of the yellow pages, as well as focus our efforts on social media. Social media continues to expand and play a vital role in today's market. We intend to establish a Facebook account, a Twitter account, and make our presence on LinkedIn.com known so that other companies and individuals will see the opportunities that we're offering. And finally, the prices of our services play a key role in the marketing strategy. We believe that we are priced ideally in the point of not being underpriced and not being overpriced. Currently, JT Bookkeeping will charge $45 an hour for online uh, services and $65 an hour for on-site services. The reason the price difference is to cover travel and any t and &E expenditures that may occur. Last, our target plan for our marketing of the billable customers. We're going to reach out to these billable customers and present an introductory bundling offer. So what this bundling offer will include is a package for accounts receivable and accounts payable. We've identified these two offerings as two of the most common and most popular to other small businesses. Again, that promotion, we're going to hit the ground running on a true grassroots effort. We've mentioned the advertising and the promotion through Yellow Pages and the pricing adjustment for in the introductory offer. There will be a 5% discount for the first six months of anyone that signs up during our true grassroots offer following um, days. And finally, our marketing budget and the income statement that we believe to be intact. The marketing tactic budget is just shy of $5,000. This includes promotional items, advertising fees, uh, expenditures to do the grassroots effort, and any other items that is detailed in the marketing plan. We anticipate in 2013 that our gross revenue will be $234,000. This is based on 10 clients at $10, or excuse me, <laughs> this is based on 10 clients at 10 hours a week at $45 for the entire year. After the expenses, we believe our net income to be $159,000. And we anticipate a year-over-year -year sales revenue growth if, in fact, we are able to put our business in a brick-and-mortar store and take our company to doing payroll for customers. That is the conclusion of this marketing presentation. I hope that if you have any questions, you will feel free to contact me directly at my email address at jt.hawkins at hotmail.com. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Bye-bye.